Hi guys, you are welcome back to my channel and I want to take a moment to appreciate you for always coming back to view our content. Today we're diving into the topic of immigration options to Australia that you might not be considering already. Australia is a land of diverse cultures and opportunities, and offers a variety of visas catering to different circumstances. Whether you're looking to visit, study, work or even permanently settle, Australia has a myriad of immigration pathways just waiting to be explored. Understanding these options is crucial, as it not only simplifies your immigration process but also opens up opportunities you may not have considered. We'll be discussing everything from visitor visas, study and training visas, to family and partner visas, working and skilled visas, and even refugee and humanitarian visas. We will also touch on other visas and repealed visas, ensuring you have a comprehensive understanding of what's available. In this journey, we aim to shed light on these categories, helping you navigate the Australian immigration landscape with ease. So, buckle up and stay tuned as we delve into each of these visa categories and reveal the opportunities they present. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so now so you don't miss out on any of our high veil content. Are you ready to embark upon the adventure of a lifetime? Let's dive right in with the visitor visas, your very own golden ticket to discover the wondrous land down under. Picture this, the Sydney Opera House in all its glory, or the breathtaking experience of snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef. Visitor visas are not just about sightseeing, they are your passport to embracing Australia's mesmerizing splendor. But wait, there's more. It's not just tourism that these visas offer. Imagine attending a high-profile conference, negotiating a game-changing deal, or exploring untapped business opportunities. Yes, you heard it right. A visitor visa is your key to unlocking a whole new world of opportunities. And here's the sweetest part. If you've got family in Australia, this visa is your VIP pass to reunite and create heartwarming memories with them. Worried about the application process? It's as easy as pie. All you need is to be in good health, have a clean record, and enough funds to support your stay. Remember, each journey is unique. It's always wise to check the specific conditions for your case. The visitor visas are a golden opportunity to immerse yourself in Australia's rich and vibrant culture. So, what's holding you back? It's time to get those bags packed, buckle up and get ready for the most memorable adventure of your life. If you're looking to broaden your knowledge or skill set, a study and training visa might be your ticket. Australia is a vibrant country with a rich tapestry of educational institutions. From renowned universities to vocational training schools, there's an educational fit for everyone. This visa is not just about hitting the books though, it's about gaining a global perspective, making international connections and immersing yourself in a new culture. Australia's diverse environment offers an enriching backdrop for your studies. What's more, studying in Australia could open doors to further opportunities. You might decide to extend your stay, pursue advanced degrees, or even kickstart your career in the land down under. The beauty of the study and training visa is that it's not just a pathway to education, but potentially a stepping stone to a new life. With a study and training visa, you can enrich your education while experiencing life in Australia. For those with family ties in Australia, family and partner visas can offer a pathway to living in the country. These visas come in various forms, each tailored to fit your unique familial situation. Firstly, we have child visas, designed for dependent children, adopted children or orphans who have an Australian citizen or permanent resident as a parent. The key criteria here is the child's dependency on the parent. Next, we have parent visas. If you have a child who is an Australian citizen, resident or eligible New Zealand citizen, you might be eligible for this visa. The process can be lengthy, and there are various criteria to meet, including balance of family and assurance of support requirements. Then there are partner visas. If you're married to or in a de facto relationship with an Australian citizen or permanent resident, you may be eligible. This visa category also covers prospective marriages. The main criteria is a genuine and ongoing relationship. Family and partner visas allow you to be with your loved ones while embarking on your Australian journey. For those with a particular skill set, the working and skilled visas provide an opportunity to work and live in Australia. Now let's take a moment to dive into the different types of working and skilled visas that Australia offers. First up, we have the skilled independent visa. This is a points-based visa for skilled workers who are not sponsored by an employer, a state or territory, or a family member. 
It's a golden ticket for those with skills in demand in Australia. Next is the skilled nominated visa, which also operates on a points-based system. The key difference here is that you must be nominated by a state or territory government. Then we have the skilled work regional visa, designed for skilled workers who wish to live and work in regional Australia. This visa also requires nomination, but from a regional area of Australia. Finally, there's the temporary skill shortage visa. This one allows an employer to sponsor a skilled worker when they can't find an Australian citizen or permanent resident to do the skilled job. These visas are points tested, which means that you need to meet a certain points threshold to be eligible. Points are awarded for things like age, English language ability, skilled employment and qualifications. But what's the big deal about these visas? Well, the benefits are immense. Not only do they provide the opportunity to live and work in Australia, but some also offer a pathway to permanent residency. Imagine that, having the ability to call Australia your forever home. Moreover, Australia is known for its high standard of living, quality healthcare, and excellent educational institutions. So, if you have the skills, why not consider this opportunity? Remember, these visas are not just about filling job vacancies. They're about contributing to the growth and prosperity of Australia. It's about bringing your skills, your ideas, and your passion to an already diverse and vibrant country. Working and skilled visas can open doors to a rewarding career in Australia. So if you've got the skills, Australia could very well be your next big adventure. Australia also offers a helping hand to those in need through its refugee and humanitarian visas. This visa category is specifically designed for individuals who are facing persecution or severe human rights abuses in their home country. It provides a legal and safe pathway to resettlement in Australia, offering a fresh start and a chance to rebuild their lives. The application process for refugee and humanitarian visas is quite distinct. It requires a proposer who is usually an Australian citizen, permanent resident or eligible New Zealand citizen, or an organisation operating in Australia. The proposer plays a crucial role in supporting the applicant throughout the resettlement process. What's more, the Australian government also cooperates with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees to identify those most in need of resettlement. This collaboration ensures that Australia's humanitarian programme responds effectively to global humanitarian situations. Through refugee and humanitarian visas, Australia provides a safe haven for those escaping difficult circumstances. There are also a range of other visas available, as well as previously available visas that have since been repealed. Let's shed some light on these overlooked immigration options. Firstly, we have the retirement visas. These are designed for those who seek to spend their golden years under the warm Australian sun. The retirement visa allows older individuals, typically those aged 55 and above, to live in Australia if they are financially self-sufficient and have no dependents. Then we have the special eligibility visas. These are for people who have served in the Australian Defence Force or for those who were previously Australian citizens or permanent residents. It's a way for Australia to give back to those who have given their service or have a prior connection to the country. Now let's switch gears a bit and talk about repealed visas. A repealed visa is one that is no longer available for application. However, those who already hold these visas can continue to stay in Australia under the conditions of that visa. For example, the Skilled Recognised Graduate Visa, which was for recent engineering graduates, was repealed and replaced with the Temporary Graduate Visa. It's essential to note that immigration rules and policies can change over time, resulting in some visas being repealed or replaced. Always make sure you're up to date with the latest information to ensure you're applying for a visa that is currently active and suits your needs. Lastly, it's worth mentioning the bridging visas. These are temporary visas that allow you to stay in Australia while you're waiting for your application for another visa to be processed. They serve as a bridge, hence the name, ensuring there's no gap in your lawful status in Australia while you transition from one visa to another. Understanding the full spectrum of visas, including repealed ones, ensures you have all the information you need for your immigration journey. So, whether you're dreaming of retiring in Australia or have a unique situation that may not fit the usual visa categories, there's likely an option for you. So, there you have it. A comprehensive look at the immigration options to Australia. We've journeyed through the avenues of visitor visas, 
shedding light on how you can explore the land down under. We've delved into study and training visas, highlighting the opportunities for growth and development. We've navigated the path of family and partner visas, underscoring the importance of keeping loved ones close. We've explored working and skilled visas, emphasizing the potential for professional advancement. We've also touched on the lesser known but equally important refugee and humanitarian visas, as well as other visas and those that have been repealed. The vital takeaway from today's discussion is the importance of research and understanding when it comes to visa options. It's not just about getting to Australia, it's about choosing the right path that aligns with your unique circumstances and aspirations. Your Australian dream is attainable and the right visa can be the key to unlocking it. Remember, choosing the right visa can make your Australian dream a reality. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content. Until next time, keep making progress in your relocation plans. I'm rooting for you and can't wait to share your testimony.